द नेम ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट इज कलर शोटिंग मशीन यूजिंग टी सी एस थ्री टू डबल जीरो सेंसर आडियो माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड एक्चुएटर्स राइट सो नाउ वी आर गोना एक्सप्लेन अवर प्रोजेक्ट इन डिटेल सो दिस इज द आडियो बोर्ड बेसिकली विच इज गेटिंग सिग्नल फ्रॉम द टी सी एस थ्री टू डबल जीरो सेंसर दिस आर द डाटा केबल विच आर कनेक्टिंग दिस टी सी एस थ्री टू डबल जीरो सेंसर टू द आडियो बोर्ड एंड यू कैन प्रोवाइड दिस बोर्ड पार्स लाइट थ्रू टू मोड बाई यूजिंग डायरेक्टली यू एस बी केबल and uh, by using adapter as well you can provide power supply so if you want to get data of the color uh, which color is coming in front of the tcs 3200 sensor you can connect uh, this usb cable directly to your laptop and you can see what uh, what type of value is, is coming from this uh, color sensor right and when whenever this color sensor will change the blue color then it will show that data on laptop as well whenever it will change the red color green color it will directly show that thing on the serial port of arduino board This is the uh, relay board. These four are relay board. Uh, on this first relay, M is written. M means this is for the rotor motor, and uh, this R1, R2, R3. These are the for the actuators. The actuator which we have used over here uh, is taken from the car. Uh, basically, they are the uh, uh, central locking uh, on-off system, right? Whenever you press uh, button from your uh, key, then car automatically get locked and automatically get open because of these actuator inside the car, right? and uh, this is free rotating wheel this is belt of the project this is tcs 3200 sensor this is the johnson's geared motor high torque motor right this this motor have a high torque and uh, if i talk about this one this is the power supply of four system these three actuator and this motor and the, uh, we have used high current 2 ampere 12 0 12 transformer so that it can drive this johnson's geared motor and these three actuator which are consuming very high amount of current Uh, if i talk about this power supply this power supply have rectifier we have used high current 5408 diode so that they can provide maximum amount of current to the actuators and the motors then we have used four capacitor over here basically five capacitor we have used uh, one uh, uh, 104 capacitor as well so these capacitor are of uh, like a uh, 470 microfarad 1000 microfarad 100 microfarad okay Uh, 2200 microfarad they are actually uh, acting as a filter as you know that the output of bridge rectifier is not pure dc it have ripples as well as fluctuations so you need to bypass those ripples and fluctuations using these capacitors so these capacitor acting as a filter over here and if i talk about transformer directly to 30 volt ac you are applying to the transformer then this 230 volt ac ac is converted into 12 volt ac using this step down transformer then this 12 volt ac means uh, on transformer on primary side is also ac and secondary side is also ac but the difference is this is high voltage this is low voltage uh, as you know that the first step to convert ac into dc means ac low voltage is rectifier rectifier will convert it, uh, ac into uh, dc but that is not pure dc that's why we we have used these two uh, these uh, four or five capacitor over here and this is the led indicator whenever you will apply power supply to the project then this led will on it means you have successfully provide power supply to the uh, circuit right and uh, as i already told you these are the four relay which are basically controlling actuators and the motor and these transistor acting as a driver for each relay these two transistor for this relay these two transistor for this relay these two transistor for this relay as you know that the microcontroller output is not so much high so you have to you have to amplify the current coming from the microcontroller so that you can drive these relay right so these transistor acting as a amplifier over here and these two transistor used in a darlington pay form and if i talk about this diode these diode is acting as a back emf bypasser over here as you know that every device which have coils when this device gets on and off frequently then uh, they produce back emf so that back emf is bypassed by this diode If we don't use this diode, then it will affect the circuit at the back end. It may burn out the Arduino board as well if we are not using this back end bypasser diode over here, right? Now we are going to see the live working of the project. One thing you have to remember in this project: first apply power supply to the Arduino, then apply power supply to the transformer. Why this is? Because when you are not applying power supply to the Arduino, then automatically these four relay will get on because relay get on on zero signal and already there is a zero signal. Okay, so all these actuator motor will on immediately, and they put load on the transformer and on the circuit as well, and hang the whole system, right? So first you have to provide power supply uh, on Arduino. Then Arduino will on only one relay, which relay? This relay, which will drive the motor and off all other relay, right? Now we are going to uh, see the live working of the project. So I am going to apply power supply to the transformer. So this is the. button 
okay this is the toggle button uh, from where you can on and off this whole arrangement except arduino arduino is already on because you have provided uh, power supply from the laptop now we are going to see something on the laptop as well so we are going to on the serial port of the laptop right Uh, now you are getting value of R, G and B. Now if uh, uh, there is a blue color then it will show that as well. Now you can see on the screen blue color. Blue color is in front of the sensor and it is showing blue color. Now if uh, you will put green color then it will show on the screen green color. Right, you can clearly see green color is on the screen. Now, if you will uh, take red color, then it will show red color right on the screen. Right, red color is coming on the uh, screen. So, now we are gonna red color is on the screen, uh, red color is in front of the sensor as well right now we are gonna replace now there is no sensor so there is no data on the screen okay there is a particular data so there is a different value coming of rgb whenever i will place blue color then you can clearly see value change and the message on the screen is blue right okay now if i will uh, change to green color then now you can see there is no message there are different different value of rgb green color then message on the lcd will be green you can clearly see right now we are gonna uh, perform the experiment we are gonna own now uh, now we are going to start the live working of the project on this uh, project you can see this led is fl uh, flashing very high speed with, with very high speed because uh, this Arduino board is continuously sending data to the laptop like which color is coming in front of uh, this uh, sensor like you can see on the screen as well there is a continuous data coming right this is the continuous data coming but whenever there is a color in front of this sensor then this flashing speed becomes slow because uh, it is also flashing uh, it is also sending the message on the laptop like which color it is and you can see on the screen as well like it is sending uh, blue color right okay now we are going to see the live working of the project so we are gonna own uh, this button so through this button this uh, uh, whole system will own right so now belt is moving so so this is the blue color and uh, this is green color this is for the red color right and this, uh, this activator for the blue color this for the green color this for the red color this is for the blue color this is for the red color and this is this is for the green color so over here green color will come it is written over here blue color will come and over there red color will come so this sensor is sensing uh, because sometimes it takes uh, error as well because this belt is moving belt okay and speed is, uh, of motor is also a little bit high so sometimes it uh, feels a little bit problem to sensing because the object is moving very fast in front of the sensor but still it is capable of sensing right this is blue color right this is blue color and this is red color right and this is green color right so this sensor is working perfectly and uh, because less or uh, because friction is a little bit less sometimes belt is also slipping so you have to provide some uh, material over here which can create a friction between rotor and the belt so i have used jaggery over here this is jaggery right good okay so so that uh, there will be a little bit friction okay 
Now we are gonna again see the working of the project. This is blue color. This is blue color. Okay. This is green color. Okay. And this is red color. Right. And uh, you can see on this relay as well. Uh, if you will notice, this relay become on for a very little time, like for one twenty milliseconds. Like you can uh, see, this is uh, this relay will or out of either this or this relay will operate for the blue color, right? You can notice over here as well, right? This relay was on for a very little time, and for green color, this relay will operate, right? This relay was operate for green color, and for this one, for red one, this relay will operate. Okay, this was for the red color. Blue color. You can notice the relay as well. Green color. Red color. Right? So all colors are working perfectly. Green, blue color. Green color. And this is red color. Right? So you can also do. Uh, so this is the working of this simple project. Uh, this is a high torque Dunson gear motor. So if you wanna off the system, yes, then you can go from gear as well. One thing you have to keep remember in this project is that first you need to provide power supply uh, through the USB cable, then uh, through that on-off switch, right? So we are again gonna operate. This is blue color, okay? Working, working perfectly. This actuator is for the blue color, and you can notice the fluctuations on. Green color, right? Yeah.